I've been interested in biology for a long time. I was first exposed to proper microbiology, which I'm interested in. The experiment that we did was making bacteria glow. And I thought that was really interesting. I thought the only thing that could glow was a light when you turn it on. But we actually cultured bacteria. We played with the experiment for a couple of weeks. And in the end, our bacteria started glowing under UV light. And I thought it's fascinating. And I wanted to figure out why that is so and how it works. And so that's what drove me into biology. Now I'm studying biochemistry, which is the study of biological reactions in a cell. And that's pretty fascinating for me. I think that in order to understand what life is, you need to understand the interface between life and non-life. And that is exactly what biochemistry is, studying the reactions, which is non-life, and how that translate into, translates into biology, which is life. I'm under a scholarship from the Singapore government, so I know that eventually I'll be in the public service sector. When I was in middle school, I imagined that in the future I'll be working on something as exciting as making bacteria glow in the future. But since then, my ideas of what I want from life have changed a lot. While I really enjoy my studies in biology, I feel that right now the place at where sciences requires a lot of technical knowledge. And as much as I am good at math and good at science, I don't feel like the technical knowledge impacts me in a way that the study of how this applies to humans does. That's why I would like to go into the public service sector, because I feel that that has a more of an impact on people's lives. I mean, sure, people say that cancer research, for example, a huge biological field, a lot to do with biotechnology, microbiology, biochemistry, all things that I'm interested in. But research like that takes years, and I feel that I want to make more of an immediate impact on people, and that can be achieved through public service and not exactly through biochemistry or studying in a lab and trying to make bacteria glow. I've had more trouble in the humanities where I had to take into account different people, different contexts, and that was a challenge to me. And given the examination system in Singapore where everything is tested and there's either a right answer or you don't get the points for it, I felt that it was easier to score in the sciences as well. And I was good at it, so I went with that. But right now, while I'm studying at Cornell in the US, I realize that humanities are a challenge. But with more time to explore my interests, I find that the humanities are lining up more with what I'm interested in, which is looking at different people, different contexts, understanding why this is important and what matters to different people. And that speaks to me in a way that uh, simply doing equations does not. The education system here accepts a lot of different ideas, and that is something that's absent in Singapore, or I guess in countries which have a more Asian mentality. In Asian countries, you either do the right thing or you're off track. But in America, what I found is people take into account lots of different ideas and don't dismiss them outright. So if you have an idea that's different from mainstream, it's taken in, it's um, thought of, People actually consider your opinions as important. It doesn't matter whether you're an undergraduate, whether you're a graduate, whether you're a professor. People are always OK with being wrong. The gender differences that were there in school was that there were lots more girls in the biological sciences and lots more guys in the physical sciences. So even though girls and boys weren't doing that much differently in terms of grades, there was a big difference in terms of interests and what girls and boys were going for. Girls were more biologically oriented and guys were more mm, physically oriented. In a sense, I feel that the choices that I've had have been constrained by the subjects that we've had to choose. So in Singapore, the education system is such that you streamline the courses that you, that you take. If you choose biology, you can't take chemistry at the same time, simply because there's no time to study both. So you have to choose one or the other. And that itself closes off doors to you. If you're taking biology, there's no way that you're going to become a physicist in the future. And I feel that there's a, that's a forced choice to make as a high school student, because at that age, you don't really know what you want from life. You'd like to have all the doors open to you. But because of the education system and the way it's set up, you have to make a choice, and that closes off opportunities. So for example, when I was in class 11, I was really interested in physics and astronomy as well. But I couldn't take physics because 
uh, I had chosen biology as a core. And that closed off all the op uh, physics-related options to me. So while I had the chance to shadow doctors, I had the chance to go into um, Singapore's Agency for Science, Technology, and Research labs and watch scientists at work. I didn't really have the chance to see what's happening in the physics field, and that's sort of a blind spot for me right now. When I was 16, I went to visit the Agency for Science, Technology, and Research, an organization in Singapore which allows scientists their own lab and allows them to work on the projects that they want. And it was a great opportunity for me to see scientists at work actually doing what they do on a regular day. And while that was very informative for me, I didn't feel that it called out to me because these are scientists working at their benches and not having much interaction with people. And that's what I was more interested in, actually interacting with people and seeing how experiments can relate to people and impact their lives. In mid-career, I'd hope to be working in a place where I can interact with people, know what's going on in their lives, and understand why, and accordingly make decisions that can impact their lives for the better. It's a general theme for me that I want to be able to help people in whichever capacity possible.